Verse. What verse? Uh, Any verse from there? Or yeah, just whatever you want. Do you want to pick a verse or should I start? Sure, let's go with seven. Lucky number. <laughs> seven. Seven, who wants to make it to heaven? Well, we believe that. Okay, let's, 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 let's put our beliefs aside. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's put it aside. So oh, let's yeah, suppose yeah. we come across this verse, yeah? yeah? It says, God is one. Yeah. I would agree that, okay. He is self-sufficient. Yes. He does not beget. He does not beget. He does not have a child. He does not have big you get meaning like I understand but I'm we we refer to Jesus as the Son of God. No, like I remember that word is yes. used specifically yeah. with regards to Jesus. So if I'm answering that, I wouldn't know if I'm contradicting Okay good. So, so I don't, if we put all religions aside, would you ever believe? Would you ever wake up and say, you know what? I believe in God, but I'm I, I have to believe he has a son. If we, me and you woke up on an island, we woke up and we was like, bloody, what are we doing here, mate? Yeah, okay, it's like, uh, uh, wherever it is. Me and you, would we ever come to the conclusion? We might come and say, you know what? There must have been something that put us here. We'll come to simple, rational, logical reasoning, yeah? But would we ever come together and say, you know what, Greg? I think God has a son, you know? Why? Because, what's the need? Like, why would God, where did you get the information? It has to be an information that's given to you. But within your fitra, the nature that I told you about, you would never come to the conclusion of saying, God, if God has a daughter, or God has a son, and I come and say, no, God has a, uh, a father. We would never come to those conclusions. So the verse says, he does not beget, nor is he begotten. Meaning, Mary gave birth to Jesus. So Jesus was born of a woman. So he has a mother. We don't believe God has a mother. And lastly, there is nothing like him. Do you agree? That again here, obviously, is the Quran. There's a verse in the Quran, yeah? yeah, which is clearly telling us and the Christians that let's come to common terms between us and you that we worship no one but God. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So what the Islam is doing is saying you guys are the people of the book. You're close to us. We can marry from you. We can eat from your uh, your meat. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We can we can you can live under Islamic rule. But what we're just saying is, can we not come to common terms that we don't associate partners to God and worship Him alone? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Islam is. I understand. I'm, 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 although I'm not interested in perhaps becoming a Muslim. That's fine. Like, yeah, like, 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 I'm, I'm still very much open to, to reading the books and I, I like knowledge. So I like to, I like to research things, I like to read things, even though I might not agree with it. That's fine. Is That's there a chance, okay, are you open to that Islam can be the truth? Um, I'd have to look into it. Okay, so are you open to saying that, for example, at this moment in time you're saying, I do not believe it. But are you open to saying there is a possibility that Islam can be the truth? I don't think I would. Okay, why is that? It's, it comes down to more like the history of our country. So this is good, yeah, okay. Know, right. is and by the way, I can relate to you. I'm going to tell you why. Go on. So, very much like if I was perhaps maybe if I was like an English person, yeah, it would be more easier for me to come to terms with that. Okay, Instead, okay, so, so okay, no, so 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 I relate to you. How my dad hates Islam, yeah, yeah. my dad hates Islam, he hates, he says the thing that I've hate the most has been born into my family. Yeah, now I had two choices to make in life. Number one, I'm going to please my lineage or whatever you want to call it, my background, or I'm going to look in the mirror and lie to myself. So now for me i know that the only one that is truly there for me is god almighty when i when i was born put on this earth to when i die to when i'm resurrected to when i'm questioned till i enter paradise or hell god is the only one that's there for me our parents our siblings etc these are individuals that has been ascribed to us as being our parents but on the day of judgment nobody knows no one allah says in the quran on that day a mother will be running away from the the child nobody knows nobody so what i'm saying is this great how old are you? Uh, 18. You're 18. You have the same choice. Which is what? You can look back and say, hold on a second. Like the same with my people, my, uh, the, the, the background I come from. They were persecuted by Muslims. Some of them were killed. Yes. That's why my family, my family members call me traitor. But the point is this. Those Muslims were bad Muslims. I cannot put them into the category of the truth. The truth is the truth. And that's what even Jesus says in the Bible. If you seek the truth and the truth shall set you free. So don't let that stop you because Allah says in the Quran, are you going to follow your forefathers knowing that they were wrong? Just because they are your forefathers or just because I can't go back on the, 
Look, if you put God first and you say this is the truth, man, I, like if it is the truth, like obviously you do your research and you find out. Imagine you find that Islam is the truth and you say, I'm not going to follow it because, oh, I don't know, my dad might kick me out of the house or I might whatever, etc. for that matter, yeah? Yeah. Now, in that instance, obviously, with me, I kept the secret from my father. Yeah. But the point is this, bro. You have to ask yourself a question. This is the truth. Can I tell, would you turn your back knowing if Islam was the truth, if it was proven to you that Islam was the truth, would you turn your back to it because of what happened in Armenia? It's a very, very complicated question that if I was to answer, I would, it would be a whole nother like tangent. Okay, like is, uh, do, 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 do you mean by tangent? Do you mean like, like there'll be something? Have to go, I'd have to go and speak about like Armenia and like. The, because we yeah. here, I've noticed people aren't like British people. They aren't very patriotic. Yeah, yeah. Like Armenians our country, are. We're we're very patriotic. Yeah, yeah. even very even Kurds. <laughs> like it's to the point where sometimes we put uh, we put our country above everything else. It's, it's, it's like worship. Yeah. That that's a form of idol worship. Well, not we, we wouldn't say like we put it above God. Okay. Not. But we put it above our family, but, ourselves. But but the thing is. If you don't put it above God, and if Islam is the truth, then if you could put God first, we put it side by side. Oh, that's 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 associating partners in that sense indirectly. I'm saying if Islam is truth and Allah is the truth, if you if you believe in your, uh, your background that God yeah. comes before our country, then that means all these baggage of nationalism, all this kind of stuff. Who comes first, that or God? It will have to be God. Could I ask you something? Sure. There was a few. I have a few. Uh, the, the main concern I've heard about, because I'm just been watching the debate, so yeah, maybe yeah. I'm not that knowledgeable. Yeah. So I hope you, I hope you could ask. No, that question, I don't want to go to ne them, ne ne Christians, ne and then maybe they'll give me some bias. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, the main, the main issue I see. Is, yes. Um, Muhammad being the final prophet, right? Yes. So I just want to understand how. Because in the Quran, I don't know if you guys have I mean, Jesus is sinless, right? We believe we believe that every prophet is sinless. Every prophet. Like 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 they, they there are minor mistakes that they can make, mm -hmm. etc. But there's there's difference between some say there's minute sins. We say major sins, no way. Because because yeah. like in in Christianity, yeah. we believe Jesus is sinless. Yeah. But like the, the prophets before him, yeah. because the covenant said that, uh, I believe it was a covenant, said there will be a messiah to come, we will yeah. carry on the kingdom of Israel and so on. Yeah, so we believe he's a messiah. Yeah, so, so we don't, so for example, the prophets before him, they were sinners. Yeah. So they, we, that's why we follow Jesus. So for example, okay. when I was to bring up like, uh, do you guys believe uh, Jesus, is, you said he was prophets are sinners, right? Yeah. They didn't commit any major sins. Yeah. Mary has a chapter, right? In yes, we have a whole chapter of Mary. Okay. Does, what is Muhammad's um, parents' name? Oh, uh, it's Abdullah, yep. if I'm not mistaken. And um, I forgot his mom's name. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, they both, um, we believe they are in the hellfire. They died as I know, I, know. Those, yeah. I was going to ask about that. So, um, if Muslims believe that Muhammad is the greatest person to ever live, right? He's like, the best man to walk to serve, yeah, we believe. So, yeah. Yes, so, and we believe Mary is the, one of the best best women to walk. Okay, so I was just going to ask, how how would you reconcile like Muhammad being the greatest man to walk the earth and him being like the final messenger of Allah, but his parents are in hellfire. Yeah, his parents aren't mentioned as like I don't know if they're mentioned in the Quran specifically. No, they're not mentioned in the no. Quran. Mary is has a chapter about yeah. and I believe that I think, I think there was a hadith I read it yeah. it was about how Muhammad asked Allah for forgiveness for his parents maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken it's, it's about the Munafikin. I don't know about his parents I think it uh, was his um, mother he asked her, his mother Allah for, to forgive his mother for uh, it might be maybe I may have heard and something Allah, like that um, rejected his please mm, yes and I was just I was just curious if he is the greatest man yeah. to ever walk the earth he's the final messenger why yeah. doesn't he Allah grant forgiveness for his mother. Because the thing is, the rights of Allah over, over what comes anything. So here we don't we don't worship. We only love the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because Allah has told us to. Allah is first for us. We don't we don't we don't deify Muhammad peace be upon him. I know I know. So for us is the violation that was done was against Allah. So a prophet cannot come and ask. And this shows you that he is a true prophet. If he wasn't a true prophet, he would say, Yeah, my mother and father are in heaven. It shows that the fact that he's saying that no. And not only that, Abraham, we believe Abraham is father. His father, again, 
is in the hellfire. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing is these things in this instance, for example, shows us because why the Christians went to exaggeration with Jesus yeah. and they made him divine. The Jews started to degrade him and insult him and call him an, uh, his mother an adulterer billah, and him names, yeah, and a liar. Islam came and said he's not God and told the Christians he's not God. Don't go to exaggeration in the religion and Allah says in the Quran and we are telling the Jews stop insulting him. He is the Messiah and he is a true prophet and he's a mighty uh, messenger. So we are the balance in saying, listen, we believe Jesus and uh, uh, his miracles that he did by the permission of God. We believe in all of this. All we're just saying is don't go to extremes in your belief. Like you said, you found out that Jesus was God. Before that, that concept was not even in your mind. And that shows me your fitrah is in line with Islam. That's why in, in Islam we believe every child is born a Muslim. Uh, just another thing. Sure. Was, um, so Muhammad's mother, was she aware of because I, I believe you said those who haven't heard the message. Yes. So, and, so, so and they they reject the message and they heard it. Yeah. Then they have the possibility of going. Yes. To hell, yes. Right? We they, we they, <coughs> we believe that. So we're saying if that they if they have entered the fire, that means they the the, the, the hujjah is being established on them. The, the that the judgment is being established on them. Now between Jesus and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, that gap uh, there we they talk about those people for example who did not hear the message. God in Islam we do not believe in a God that has is full of wrath. God's mercy outweighs his anger. So what it, that means is anyone that hasn't truly heard the message of Islam, mentally unstable, yeah, um, and who's, who hasn't reached the age of puberty, these people will be tested on the day of judgment because it's unfair to throw them in hellfire. Yeah. Just another thing I'd like sure. to ask. Um, I've heard that in Islam, I know that you're allowed to have multiple wives. Yes. Is it? Come on. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, let's not get there now, you young man, you young man, let's not get there, I'm joking. <laughs> That's another topic um, we'll have, yeah, go yeah, Anyway, um, yeah. is it permissible to have a second wife in secret? Because I've heard this yeah. is allowed. It is, it is, it is, it is allowed. Now, secret, what does that mean? Yeah, now we, we need to understand that um, in Islam, obviously, that it should be done where you give a mahar, you speak to the father, you announce the marriage, people know. But the thing is that, the reason why it's allowed, what that means is, for example, is that the permission of you don't need the permission of your first wife. And and and, and, and yeah, and it might it might cause more problems. It might hurt her. You know, woman or woman. I don't, don't think. You, don't you think that's that's wrong? Like more. Why is it, why is okay? Because if you're not telling your first wife. Okay. If so you're, if you if a woman was to marry someone. Yeah. Wouldn't the expectation be he's going to be loyal to me? He's going what's, to what's, what do you define as loyal to that? For example, this issue of polygamy. Yeah. Uh, it will not be polygamous. Let's just say that. The issue of polygamy it's a phenomena that people have where they thinking that this is exclusive to Islam there oh, are there there there, 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 are, there are there are no no not only the Bible forget that oh, yeah. there, there are people non-believers in God that go and sleep around I know, I, I think that's okay good Islam polygamy has come to protect the woman very simple a man has this inclination this nature to want other women you're a man there's no way you're gonna say no to two beautiful women wanting to have intimacy with you there is no way I mean, if, if I didn't have a if I didn't have a partner, I actually to be fair, I still wouldn't even do that. Okay, no problem. Let's say you didn't have a partner. There are two beautiful there's two beautiful yeah, drop dead okay. gorgeous women saying, We want to marry you okay. and you can you, you're your husband. Mm -hmm. Why would you say no? Why would I say no? There, there. Would you say no or would you be like I mean which man would say no to that? Because the thing is I think that the hallmark of a man's how do I say the strength yes yeah. his his control over his um, so, this is, this is, so this is what Christianity has done and this is the reason why yeah. we have this other extreme which is what these monks and these these worldly desires are blamed there's no blame I in this. Say we blame it. there is a bit of blame in Christianity it's like oh these are worldly desires and from the flesh yeah. there is absolutely nothing wrong with that what we're saying is this is a reality why because at the end of the day people talk about back then this applies today there are men, so the reason I'm asking that is because you haven't answered two yes, sorry, beautiful sorry. women saying you can be with us both, you just have to marry us and we'll be your wives, have kids, offspring, you provide for us, you look, look after us. Why would, would you say yes or no to that? No. Okay, you say what? I would say no. You say no, okay, tell me why you say no. Because first of all, as a Christian, I don't believe that. Forget the Christian. Let's put Islam and Christianity okay, aside. Yeah, You're a human being. Yeah. There are two beautiful women just saying to you, look, we would like to marry you. You're our husband and just look after us and we live happily ever after. Okay, on what basis would you say no to it? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like, you, why, would you say no because of what? 
I as a man. I just believe that I, I, would, like, I would like to be loyal to one See, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I, would, I just want to be loyal to one man. Okay. I, I just don't like the idea of uh, having okay so 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 i understand that but from a human perspective as a man no man on this earth would ever say no to two beautiful women because he's got nothing to lose the only reason you're saying that is because there is a programming of the western society of stigmatization of that thing so that's why it's 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 like oh, actually, society, sorry no no it doesn't no it permits you to have a mistress but not a wife so you can have a wife, have girlfriends, side chicks, mistress, you can sleep around, you can abuse them, yeah. you can treat them like crap. But if you have a wife, that's not allowed. So it's like two wives are not allowed, but you can go and sleep around and listen to your wife. So the point, what I'm seeing in a nutshell, is that that's, Islam has come to prevent that. To say to a man that if you are going to go and do this, it should be done in the right way. You cannot go and use and abuse a woman for your needs and chuck her away. Islam says you want to get married again, you have to do it in the right way. You marry her, you honor her, you give her a dowry, you take care of her, you provide for her. Islam gives a solution because what's better, obeying God, obeying God or going around and violating God's law by sleeping around. And it's allowed in Christianity. That's a different topic. To me, polygamy, is, that, that to me is a whole different topic and there's absolutely nothing wrong. I believe there's absolutely nothing wrong. And I believe there's a, it's a solution for today's society. I, 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 believe, I believe that. Of course, it's a, it's, a, it's a nature in men to desire multiple women. Yes. It doesn't mean that because it's a nature we should just go and do it. I think there's certain things that, I think there's certain things that we must control ourselves. Right? Because we may have, people might have the, um, uh, an inclination to, let's say, we do drugs or this. Yeah. Or these, 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 yeah, these are things that harm you. Yeah, so, so, so it's not permissible. Yeah. So can, for example, sleeping around. Right? Sleeping around, it's, this can cause sexual diseases. Yeah. That's the reason why. Polygamy sorts this issue out. You know why? Because there are so many men who go and sleep around, they beat dads. That means that he's got 10 other girls I slept with, yeah. their kids are even dating each other, not knowing they committed incest. Yeah. Islam has come to protect the lineage, so the father is known, the mother is known. Because if a man has intimacy with four women, you know the father, you know the mother. If a woman has intimacy with four men, you don't know who the father is. So that's the solution. But that's digressing. I don't believe that's the thing. Can you do me a favor? You know the Quran that I gave you? Yeah. Why don't we open a verse and maybe it might be a friendly open, open it for you. Maybe it's a sign, like for example, let's look for a sign inshallah, like maybe... Could I, no. could I just continue with the, sure, 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 the yeah. secret marriage? Yes. yes. So, you wouldn't, so, you're allowed to have a, a second wife and yeah. you, you're allowed to not tell your you, you, You're allowed to, I believe it's better that if you are transparent, but yes, you are not... Would you, would you, would you, would you say that perhaps that's wrong to not tell your first wife that... Uh, you are not sinful, but obviously at the end of the day, men that who are doing this, even the ones that, for example, who are doing it in the wrong way, they're only doing that because they don't want to hurt their wives. Do you get it? I understand, but, yeah. but that's still... I, I just have a moral like no no, no the, the, mo morally the only reason we're saying that is because it's become a taboo it's become an abnormal thing that's why you're looking at abnormally I'm, if I'm you live i'm not saying like polygamy itself like okay yeah you can understand i can un i can put aside the polygamy part yeah right if you want to have multiple wives you want to tell them that are you talking okay. about being hidden oh uh, yes yeah, the hidden part not to, like lying to your first yeah. wife saying oh, no, you're, well, i'm exclusive to you than having a second wife on the side well it's almost like a mistress uh you know, well 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 it's Islamically, yeah, exactly. Islamically, you need to understand. Yeah. As men, we believe, for example, sometimes there are no more men than uh, more women than men. Yeah. So we're saying there are women out there who cannot get married, yeah. especially women who have kids. It's hard for them. Yeah. They have a stigma as they. So we're saying Islam has given a solution that these women need, need companionship. They need someone to look after them. So Islam has allowed that. Now, if the first wife is being selfish and threatening them, and the man is like, "Look, I want to marry this woman. I want to look after her." If she is not allowing that, he, he's being pushed to make it hidden. What I'm saying is Islamically, it's just allowed. Obviously, it's preferred. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is then, in that case, wouldn't you just uh, divorce your person? No, why would you? Why would you destroy, uh, well, you destroy one? And it, so the thing is, Let's say you didn't uh, no, no, she has a right. She has a right, she has a right if she wants. She can, she can say, you know what, I, I can't do this. We don't believe it. Islamically, a woman has a right to divorce. Like in Christianity, you can't. Judaism, you're not allowed to get divorced. In Islam, she has a right. She can say, you know what, I can't cope with it. Yeah. Why do me a favor? Why don't you internally, let's internally like pray to God, to God. I'm not gonna like, to God, and say that. Oh, like I will personally say, oh, Allah, like to grant, give you a sign through the Quran. Yeah. Open a random verse. 
let's read it but internally just you know make a prayer and say look god if this is the truth if this book is genuinely the truth show me a sign you know maybe internally do that and then open up this random verse to quran we can if you want i can hold that yeah yeah i'll hold it can i do this of course <laughs> Huh? Can I talk to you next? Are you guys done? I'm uh, not yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, inshallah, I'm going to be done. Chance him to make dua, pray, yeah. and open the Quran. No, just ask for guidance and just open it and just see what Allah has done. Yeah. What verse? Uh, Any verse from here? Yeah, just, just whatever you want. Do you want to pick a verse or should I start? Sure, let's go with seven. Lucky number. <laughs> seven. Seven, who wants to make it heaven? <laughs> so let's see what verse. So this is Surah Ahkaf, yeah? Yep. Okay, let me see. It's, uh, okay. And when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences, those who disbelieve say of the truth when it has come to them, this is obvious magic. Or do they say he has invented it? Say, if I have invented it, you will not possess for me the power of protection from God at all. He is the most knowing of that which is of which you are involved. Sufficient is he as a witness between me and you. And he is the forgiving and merciful. So I am not the first messenger. So sorry, I am not the first messenger ever sent. Nor do I know what happens to me or you. I only follow what is revealed to me and I am only sent with a clear warning say have you considered if the Quran was from God and you disbelieved in it while it witnessed from the children of Israel had testified to something similar and believed while you were you were arrogant indeed God does not guide the wrongdoing people yeah and those who disbelieve say of those who believe if I had truly been good they would not have proceeded us to it and when they are not guided by it they will say this is an ancient falsehood yeah mm -hmm. look let's go to the beginning yeah oh. it is powerful spinal yeah so the, from the beginning i'm going to read from the beginning to verse 7 okay so it's a bit of context okay the revelation of the book is from god and exalted in might and the wise we did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them except in truth uh, for a specified term but those who disbelieve from that from from uh, that of which they are warned are turning away say oh muhammad have you considered that which you in which uh, which you invoke besides god show me what they have created on earth yeah which is very powerful because it's saying that to, you're talking about anybody like those yeah. gods that you're associating tell us what they have created for example jesus what did jesus create by himself without god's power did jesus ever create anything like did he did he create and it's an impossibility did he ever create anything from himself no yeah uh sorry show me what they have created of the earth yeah, if you should be truthful and who is more astray and who is more astray than the one who is invoked besides god those who do not respond to him until the day of resurrection and when the people are gathered that day to their judgment those who are involved will be enemies to them wow this one is deep yeah this one here is deep you know why it says on the day of judgment when the people are gathered on the day of judgment we're all going to be gathered they who were involved will be enemies to them they will be deniers of their worship and the verse you said because and who and when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences those who disbelieve say of the truth when it came to them this is clear magic so when he was talking about father, like you know when he talked about, for example, yeah. I'm doing this, yeah? Yeah. when he was talking about, for example, Thank you. your father, yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or I mean family, yeah, yeah. Allah saying on that day when we are gathered, they are going to become enemies to one another. Why? Because they're going to say, hold on a second, you told me to worship Jesus, or you told me to worship this, or you told me to worship that. That, that is what I was saying, subhanAllah. And the disbelievers, and Allah says that, that the Quran is a clear evidence. The Quran itself yeah. is a miracle. For example, when you talk about Jesus' miracles, etc. Yeah? When we talk about the miracles of Jesus, we cannot really verify it. You cannot come. If I said you prove to me Jesus did this miracle, you can't. But with the Quran, this is something you can verify and test yourself. Because there are miracles in the Quran. 
But yeah, that's 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 always all I have to say. If you have any questions, uh, feel yeah, free. Um, I, I read that um, the Quran says that the heavens and the I believe it was the earth was first created and it was separate. No. Yeah? It was. No, they, it says it said they were they were once to give uh, the heavens and the. Yeah, I think it said the heavens and earth and uh, the, uh, I remember it being like people, yeah. Allah brought them together No, no, no he, he divided, he's now, he's, I think he said he divided uh, oh, okay. Sunda, something along those lines Yeah, yeah. Uh, with, I remember it saying the heaven and the earth was created in six days And then I remember seeing another place yeah. that was created in eight days Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so basically this one is a uh, Some are mistaken, some people think it's a contradiction but it's a contradistinction So here's the following, for example, if I come and say to you um, the past six days, mm -hmm. I've been playing football. Yep. Then I come and say to you, um, the past three days, I played basketball. Yep. And then also after that, the past five days, I've also played a bit of badminton. So now you're thinking, how could you fit all of that? So what we're saying is the following, that for example, that when you are doing something, mm -hmm. I can say I played football and basketball on that same day. And then, on the Wednesday, I also played basketball, badminton and football on the same day. So when we're talking about that, Allah makes it very clear. He says that, for example, we created this and that, that you're talking about that. And then when you add it, it comes to eight days. But Allah's not saying that he has created, for example, the earth in six days um, only. He's telling the things that he done in that time frame. Do you get it? It might be like, for example, earth, the earth took six days. Yeah, and days we don't we don't say 24 hours. We're talking about it can mean millions of days. You get it? So what we're saying is that, for example, the six days it's talking about in that six days when it says, oh, then, for example, we turn to the heavens. Yeah, it's involved in that day, in those days. So it's not separate. Do you get it? Yeah. Otherwise, you look at contradiction. If that makes sense. Um, are you here every Sunday? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna come more often. So yeah, come. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Um, yeah, do you have any questions for me? I don't know. To be honest, um, yeah, I, I would say to be honest, I don't really have much questions for you, but obviously, I just feel like you seem like a sincere person. Uh, yeah, sorry, am I moving? We started, ain't it? Yeah, I don't even he's moving back because I'm trying to get close to him. Eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, personally, I would say, bro, like, I don't really have any questions. I would just say, you know, like the question that I asked you about, you know, believing in God, you didn't know Jesus was God. I would just say this is very important because genuinely it shows your fitra, which is what? That you believe, you are being taught to believe Jesus is God. But you within your nature, you would never believe this, ever. If there was no Christianity, no religion, me and you would never believe God is a man, he had a father. We would not believe these concepts. Yeah, but I would say to that, for example, like I study physics, right? Yeah. So in physics, there are concepts where if, I, if you were to tell me to them, I would be like, well, what's this? Surely yeah. this cannot be a thing. How can, how can yeah. this make sense? Yeah. Right? But then if you were to explain it to me, then I'll be like, okay, so if you explain it, then I can kind of see how that makes sense. Same with, for example, the Trinity. First, I didn't understand it. You never understand it? No, I didn't understand it. Okay. And then, and then I, it was, I was some of the debates, I did some research, yeah. and then I was like, okay, maybe if I was to, I'm just, I, can, I can understand the Trinity using, for example, metaphysics. Philosophy. How? How could you explain to me, logically, Trinity making sense? I, I can't explain it to you. Yeah. No, because I haven't done enough. I'm sure people can. We, 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 no, 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 okay. like, even, even we were speaking to some brother Paul, even he talks about early church fathers, they were like, this is not something that can be explained. So what I'm saying is that it's impossible that God Almighty sends us to earth, sends us a message, and the very thing, the essence of believing Him, we don't understand. The Father's God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. But the Father is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Son. It's impossible that to have a belief system, like in Islam it's very clear, God is one, there's nothing like Him, you worship Him alone, it's simple, it's impossible. So to us, we say it logically cannot make sense and it's against His nature. But for example, the priests, the scholars yeah. who understand the Trinity and believe in it. Yeah, none of them know how to, they think it's a mystery. They think it's a mystery. I haven't been told. Go, 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 go to anybody. I, to my, I mean, maybe my priest is different to different priests. Go to your priest, go to anyone here. Yeah. Go to the experts and get them to explain to you the Trinity. You cannot because the thing is you are claiming that one being in there is limited in power. You're saying to me Jesus did not know the hour. How could God not know the hour? God died. How could God die? These are things, yeah, exactly, it goes against his very nature. So we're saying that the fact that it goes against his very nature shows 
that it's it's it, it cannot I'd be. Have to, I'd have to read up on that. Read up on come, it. Maybe come back to you. This is not something you read up on. This is something that you internally know. So you can, but I'm just letting you know. And and not only that, this is already you know that. When you was like, oh, do we believe Jesus is God? That is an evidence that you, this is something that you have to add information. And again, it still will not make sense. I wouldn't say that, but for example, like I, I, I watched a uh, video. Uh, the speaker came here to speak at school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was debating uh, Christian God and yeah. Trinity, and the guy was trying to explain the idea of the Trinity to him using. Obviously, he was using complex terminology and words yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And to me, it, it, it makes sense, but because uh, I, I read up on it, you know, not all of it, so I'm still new to this. But uh, to Sneeko, it didn't make sense. And the argument he used was, oh, because it doesn't make sense, then surely it's false. I mean, I, mean, well, I, don't, I believe that's I mean, that's a that's a logical fallacy, right? Well, if you're appealing to your own misunderstanding. Like, of course, of but we're not we're not saying I'm yeah. not saying that the Trinity doesn't make sense to me. I'm saying it goes against God's very nature. Okay. The fact that God, like, do you believe God can lie? God can lie. Can God lie? He can't lie. No, he can't. It goes against nature. He's, he speaks the truth. God can't. God can't. God, God can't lie. So we're saying, well and good. God, Christians say no. God can't lie. Yeah? We just have a reason with a Muslim, right? Yeah. I said to him, say, yeah. <laughs> Ali Dawa debunk your lies, you know. <laughs> I'm a respect him for tell for debunk your lies. Yeah, right. So he stand up up there, right? Yeah. So I said to him, say, if you think say me a liar, you, you're gonna call Ali Dawa a liar too. Yeah. Come come say it in front of him so you say he's a liar. Well, and he run and hide, bro. Yeah, right. After yeah. while. <laughs> Perfect. So what I'm saying is this, yeah? What I'm saying is this, God cannot lie. So what we're saying is, well, the Christians admit that. Yeah, God cannot lie. Okay, how could God die? God cannot lie, but God can die. God becomes a man. What we're saying is, let's be consistent. You cannot say he cannot lie. You cannot come and say, oh, can God make a rock so big he cannot lift? No. So we're saying, good, you're affirming God's nature. Then why are you now telling us that God, um, God can become a man. Why can he not lie? He cannot, he cannot die. He cannot lie. He cannot make a rock so big he can't live. But he can become a man. It's, it's. This is not a matter of it doesn't make sense to me. It goes against his nature. Again, that comes back to our belief of God having both a nature that is fully human and fully divine. How does that make? How does that? How could that go? That goes against God's nature. I, I understand he's, what you're saying. It's like saying he's yeah. eternal but he's finite. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're saying. If you get you it? To bring it. If you were to explain it to somebody else, if you were to like start rambling on about like the Trinity and like, like trying to explain it to him using like and and, and it should and be that. never like that. Look, you asked me about God. Yeah. I said to you, he's one, there's nothing like him, he does not beget, he's not begotten, and he's self-sufficient. Done, bro! Case closed! Yeah, just, because, just because it's a simple way of explaining it. Yes, it doesn't, mean, doesn't mean that a complex way... I, I'm not saying that, but yeah, I'm no, saying... No no, 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 but again, yeah. number one, it's, it does not make sense. Number two, it goes against God's nature. So what I'm saying is, those two things are very important. It goes against God's nature, it's an impossibility. Number two, why would God tell you to believe in something so complex? And, and, and uh, that goes against his nature. Wouldn't, wouldn't God be complex God is, no, God can be complex. We can say that. But I'm saying his nature. So God. Yeah, I know. If God is complex, sorry for interrupting you. Yeah. What is nature. Depends what you mean by complex. We don't want to ascribe words like, for example, what do you mean by complex? What's the definition like, of complex? Difficult to maybe describe or understand. Oh, no, 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 no. no. In that instead, I would say no. I would say God is very, very simple to understand in the sense we know he is one. Yeah. We know he's a creator. Yeah. We know he's self-sufficient. We know he does not beget. He does not be God. He's not begotten. Now, what God does when it comes to his wisdom? Why are there floods, natural uh, calamities, yeah, yeah. people dying? Yeah. We say God has a wisdom we don't understand. I'm open to that all day, every day. Mm -hmm. God can do things that I do not understand why that happens. However, what he does and who he is are two separate things. Yeah. Who he is has to be simple. What he does, we can say, bro, you can do this, you can do that, that's fine. Why but can't who he is be complex? No, because if it is, then how am I going to ever worship him? If I come and say, you know, I'm going to go to that tree and I'm going to start worshipping that tree to get to connect to God. Why? Because I don't know what he wants. God has to be simple in directions. I am your Lord. This is how you worship me. This is what I want for you. This is what you're going to get. Simple, not, okay, by the way, I am the son. I was born of a virgin woman. And uh, by the way, that is not entirely me. Oh, 
I'm infinite, okay, but I died on the cross. And I could probably answer if these, these questions about more knowledgeable. No, it's not about knowledgeable. You need to answer something, Greg. I know, I know. The most knowledgeable can't answer it. You're not, you're not, you're not doing anything wrong here. Yeah. The most knowledgeable Christian cannot answer it. The reason why they can't answer it, and one of the reasons many people come to Islam and leave Christianity is because of the Trinity. It is impossible to, to believe a system like this that has so many... Cons and the, the, the Bible being corrupted is a whole different issue. Oh yeah, about the Bible being corrupted. That's a whole different yeah. uh, we, we, dilemma. Can we speak on that about a little bit? We can, time. we can, yeah. Um, I don't know if you're like... No, 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 can. Yeah, okay. So... Um, in the Quran, does it say does it say the Bible has been corrupted? It says woe to those who say woe to those who corrupt the book, uh, the scripture with their own hands, and then claim that it is from God. So it doesn't explicitly. It doesn't explicitly say the Bible. It says woe to the people of the scripture. Well, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, I understand yeah. that, but it doesn't yeah. say like, for example, the gospel or like. No, it doesn't go into the gospel. Like, well, no, it doesn't. But again, we don't even need to go that to the Quran. The Christian, the Bible itself, evidently accepts that. Scriptures are corrupted. Could you, when you say the Bible is being corrupted, could you point me to? Is there is there a specific? Is there like a consensus on what has been corrupted? Yeah, like yeah, there is. There are, well, there is well, not consensus in the sense where there is consensus consensus of corruption, but there is no consensus of how many like corruptions. Do you get it? Okay, yeah, yeah. So John seven five three to Mark eleven, for example, yep. is something. If you go to your Bible, you have a footnote telling you these, this here, the passage there does not belong to the earliest manuscripts that you have. So it's basically telling you somebody added this in and to me that is very problematic how can i believe in a scripture that has been um messed around by men how, how can i, I to, yeah you look into there's many there's many verses like you know even books like how many books do you have in your, the armenian uh, the, what do you say you guys were the church armenian apostolic yeah ask how many books you have Okay, good. Well, there's 82, there's, I mean, there's, I mean, there's yeah. 83, there's yeah. 86, yeah. there's 70. Yeah. This is impossible, man. How could you have a scripture that is changing? So from the scripture yep. to God, to the, the, to the doctrine, there's too many problems, man. Well, too many the, problems. The thing is, if we were to say, the, if, if Christians were to believe that the Bible itself was revealed by God, yeah. like God revealed it like the He inspired. It, yeah. but, but, but they were inspired. If, was, if, it, if it was to be saying that the Bible was revealed by God, then I would reject Christianity and say, okay, because it's revealed by God, how can it be corrupted? Yeah. How can it be? How can it be changed? Yeah, yeah. How, can it be, how, yeah. how is there multiple translations? Yeah. Because it's because it's not written or revealed by God. But it's, it's inspired. By, but they say they inspired. The the writers are inspired. So if they are inspired by who? God. So did God tell them to add that in? That's the issue, because when they are saying they are inspired yeah. by God, okay, no problem, they're human beings, they can make mistakes. But if they are inspired by God, who inspired them to write or add that verse in? Well, I'd have to read yeah. up on that. Yeah, read up on that, but these are problems that it really begs the question, you know? Um, a, lot of, a lot of Muslims like to say that, oh, the Bible is corrupted, and then you know, this is why we don't believe the Bible. But early, just yesterday, I was watching a, uh, a debate. I don't know. If, I don't think it was speaking Muslim or something else. But it was um, it was a Muslim trying to prove uh, proving Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. There it is. I, I don't. I don't usually use the argument because I don't need to. Because some people go into details. But I just personally. I, don't I, would find say, it I would say that argument, it doesn't make sense because if you're... Yeah, if you're saying it's corrupted, yeah, then you're... You, you're, you're well, willing to well, be to prove that... True, like, I give I mean? them credit in the sense where because it's saying that we believe that the, the, the Injil was given to Jesus mm -hmm. and corruption happened, meaning there are truths in there. Yeah. So from that angle they're saying, hold on a second, these are the truths, the remnants of that truth that has this. But me, my style, I don't want, I don't want to go into that because I'm like, okay, I just cut to the chase. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. yeah, yeah um, Oh yeah, there was. I know that um, there's there's only one Quran, not multiple Qurans. Yeah. But there are different ways of reciting. Yeah. yeah. The I different modes. There's seven. Yes, there, there's a, a, a huruf, and there's the Qiraat are different. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Qiraat are derived from that the, the, the ahruf, the seven, yeah. the Prophet peace be upon him thing, yeah. um, allowed. 
So yeah, so there's different uh, styles of recitation, etc. But they are all have been transmitted mm -hmm. and all by the companions. Oh, yeah. So we have transmission. Yeah. It's not random, and all of them are accepted. And then yeah. I remember I saw a specific passage where it was, I believe it was chapter 37, verse 12. Okay. And there was, um, I believe there was there was a there was one recitation. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name. I think it was Qala. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and then yeah. there was another one, Hats. Yeah. And the words used in Arabic yeah. were different. Yeah, yeah. And but, yeah. but the meaning itself was because it was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. Um, refer. It was speaking about. Uh, I don't know the yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It was. Um, it was saying, I'm off. I believe it was. I yeah. Believe it was something or something along yeah, those yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. or you. One, yeah, one yeah, yeah. Said I, one said Yes, 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 yes. So, how so, so, so we say, for example, those modes that are taken from the Ahruf, they're both accepted. All it does is add value to the meaning. Do you get it? Fight them, kill them. Do you get it? They fought, they killed. So what we're saying is, for example, uh, the owner of the Day of Judgment, yeah. the king of the Day of Judgment. Yeah. So what we're saying is all of these things are approved. This is the different modes, but the Quran is one Quran. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So when we're talking about that, it's not like, okay, you have passages added in. No, Books no. taken out. So the issue we don't have that we're seeing, these are all transmitted and authorized by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So it is it is um oh, what's the word? I forgot. Yeah. It is um controlled transmission. Mm -hmm. With the Bible, there's passages added in, words change, contradictions, errors, books added in, books taken out, and again, like you said, they are not even claimed to be drilled by God, inspired by God. So this is another issue, and for you. For me to put my life, my soul on the line, on a scripture that has this many problems, it, it's problematic. Yeah. But again, back to what I was saying, um, with regards to that verse, could you, could you explain... I don't know exactly what verse you're talking about. I can get, my, I can get yeah. one, uh, one of my teachers to come if you want. It was, um, it was verse 37, it was, no, sorry, chapter 37, verse 12, but you know... Okay, right, no, let's do this here. Let's end this conversation and let's go to him and start a new one on this issue. I Oh, okay, because I don't know if you want him to answer it. No, 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 it was just, it was just like, yeah, I, I, this I, is my final, I was going to Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah, because he will be able to answer okay, it, but yeah. if you want next I, no, week. No, I understand, yeah, next week. I'll yeah, because I don't know what passage you're talking about, and with this yeah, special, yeah. I'd rather go to him. Because okay, okay. Allah says in the Quran, yeah, if you don't know something, yeah, ask somebody that knows. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Thank you, great. Right. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I'll see you next week, yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day, yeah. You too, take care. Am I going to be on the channel now? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably one of the channels, yeah. Take care.